Bucknell and Holy Cross met for a 14th time in Patriot League postseason action on Thursday night at Swicka Pavilion, and the fans were in for quite a night of basketball. In a preview of things to come, Bison junior guard Chris Haas gave the Orange and Blue an early 4-2 lead. Bison 2, Crusaders 2. Bucknell's Haas dribbles left baseline for a pull-up jumper. Swish. Boy, that looked like a sweet shot there. In fact, early in the first half, Haas was helping the Bucknell squad at both ends. Man to man, they're looking for champion. He'll get it left wing against Haas. Look inside for Morgan, who's posted up. All knocked loose, though, and stolen by the long arms of Chris Haas. Haas will get it from Casper. He'll dribble for a fadeaway 18-footer. Swish! Swish! What a shot! Chris Haas! Oh, my! You can see he is on tonight. He'll split the show for a layup up and missed it. Rebound comes to Casper, though, and he'll dribble out and give it to Haas for a long straight-ahead three, and that's off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound Starkey. He'll throw it off the glass, and he'll get the first off. It's a rebound of the game for Bucknell. Look inside for Fallon. Loop it to him right baseline for a quick hook shot. That one is good, and Nana has his first two. He had 12 and 8 last time these teams met. Bounce it up top to Thomas, over to Shalrai Wing. Flip it underneath to Fallon. He'll back down Husek for another wild hook shot. And this one turning to his left, got it off the glass and good. Of course, it wasn't all Chris Haas for the Bison in the first lead half. With 10-17 remaining first half. Brown in between the rings will give it over to Johnny. A. He'll dribble in the lane, bounce to Fallon. He'll slam it! He'll slam it! He'll slam it on the baseline! And timeout Crusaders. What an assist by Johnny A. What a finish by Nana. Brown goes in on Burrell for a wild left-hand shot up. No good. Tap up and in by Bucknell's DJ McClay. Thomas against the man-to-man -man of Holy Cross's Miller. Give it to Casper. No look pass to Haas. In motion three up and there you go. Ah, yes indeedy. Haas has nine. What an assist by the friendly ghost. However, don't think it was all Bucknell in the first half. Holy Cross sophomore center Matt Husek had a great first 20 minutes. On Tuesday, down low ears Fallon against Husek. Bumps for a hook shot up and good! Wow! I still say Nana Fallon has the quickest release of anybody I've ever seen. And after Bucknell built a nine-point lead, the Crusaders made a run with a Malachi Alexander three-point play. Holy Cross brought the full court press, but the okay, Bison he'll had the to answer. Fallon right wing, give it quickly up to Frazier in the corner for a Haas three. Thank you! That's the way to beat the pressure, Christopher! Of course, that also opened the door for Holy Cross's Malcolm Miller to start making his presence known. Although Bucknell's last second shot to win the first half didn't go, the Bison still had a comfortable nine-point lead at the intermission. And Brown gets a handoff from Thomas. Pick up the ball and give it to Zach left baseline. He gets bumped into, double team, threw it up with the right hand anyway. And somehow, as if he were Houdini, he got it to roll in. Give it up to Zach Thomas. Over to Haas left side. Bison 39, Crusaders 30. Thomas fake the three, go down low for a layup. With the right hand on the left baseline, and because Alexander had two fouls in the first half, he didn't even challenge it. The Bison started the second half with some strong play Brown. as well. Dribbles top of the key, now splits defenders, kick it out to Thomas, shoots an open three, bingo! Yes indeedy, time up Crusaders! Handed off to Brown in between the rings for Bucknell. He will blow by Green with a great pass to Fallon. He'll go up and stuff it. He wanted a foul, no foul, but what a wraparound pass for the flashy one, Stephen Brown. Brown fakes the pass. He'll go in for a left-hand layup, up and good. What an empty move by Mr. Brown. But after building a 16-point lead, the Bison watched as Holy Cross came storming back thanks to plays such as this by Malcolm Miller. With the pressure on, guard Stephen Brown stepped up big Basketball for the Bison. To Starkey. Starkey will stop on the baseline, bounce it out to Brown. Brown will split defenders with a teardrop up and gone! Oh, my almighty! Little Stephen Brown has taken over this second half! But that just seemed to ignite the Crusaders' All-Patriot League player, Malcolm Miller, who time and time and time again able to drive to the basket and get the shot to fall with harm. 6.40 remaining. Haas, pull and shoot three. Bingo! Yes, the JD! What a shot by the man, Chris Haas! For Casper, right of the key. Looking for Fallon, now give it to him. He'll go for a hook shot up and good. What a feed by Casper. Look to his left, 
and just floated it to Nano as 16. In fact, with under a half minute left in regulation, Holy Cross had a three point lead, but Bucknell's all Patriot League guard had a few plays of his own. Haas, Bison down three. Haas goes in for a wild shot up and good. It was foul! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Some outstanding defense by Bucknell guard Stephen Casper forced an extra we'll session. Get the ball. Here he comes. Bison 76, Crusader 76. Miller stutter steps. Shoots a three over Casper up and no good. Rebound taken by Bucknell. And we'll go to overtime. And Casper with a great defensive stop forced the three. And boy, Steven is fired up. In overtime, Bucknell was able to get more defensive stops. 76 screen. Get it up top to Alexander. will blow down low for a layup. And it's blocked by Thomas. And saved by Casper. Oh, my almighty. Oddly enough, the Bison only made one field goal in overtime. But that was a big one. Remain. Miller will get the ball stolen by Casper. The friendly ghost with a pass and a McLean dog. Yes, the JD. Oh, my almighty. Bucknell will inbound, and that will do it. Oh, my almighty. It was a tough one. It was a hard one. But as the buzzer sounds, the heartbeat goes on for the orange and blue. Bucknell led by as many as 16 in the second half. Holy Cross fought back, had a three-point lead with seconds remaining in regulation. Chris Haas, who tied his career high with 32 here tonight, got a three-point play, forced overtime, and Bucknell will win it by seven here tonight.